Hey there, would you believe it's been a remarkable 49 years since the beloved TV series The Jeffersons first captivated audiences? This timeless show has woven itself into the fabric of our childhoods with its enthralling tales lingering in our memories. If you're eager to delve into the nostalgia and uncover all the untold truth, this video is for you. So, let's embark on this exploration together right now, shall we? Marla Gibbs played the character Florence Johnston in the TV series when she was 44 years old in 1975. Check it out, at 93 years old, she's rocking a fulfilling life jam-packed with passions right here in Chicago, Illinois. The engagement is off! Hot damn! That is right. And God is good. Well, God says that there is no age and there is no time if, if you're a spiritual being. Paul Benedict played the character Harry Bentley in the TV series when he was 37 years old in 1975. December 1st, 2008 was a tough one. He left us due to brain hemorrhage at 70 years old in Martha's Vineyard, Massachusetts. It's a sad loss for all of us. Uh, incidentally, did you hear about that man who fell from the 89th floor of the Empire State Building and lived to tell about it? Oh. Yes. This creature was kind of red and uh, it scared the scared them overalls off of me. Isabel Sanford played the character Louise Jefferson in a TV series when she was 58 years old in 1975. July 9, 2004 was a tough one. She left us due to cardiopulmonary arrest and heart disease at 87 years old in Los Angeles, California. It's a sad loss for all of us. You what? Macy's is having a monster sale. Huh. Maybe we'll get lucky and somebody will buy Florence. <laughs> <laughs> Were they related? No. They were not. Just happened to have the last, same last name. Tell me about Zara Cully. Franklin Cover played the character Tom Willis. He was 47 years old when the TV series ran in 1975. February 5th, 2006 was a tough one. He left us due to pneumonia at 78 years old in Englewood, New Jersey. It's a sad loss for all of us. Helen, I was just trying to fit in. Where? Bellevue? <laughs> no, with you and your friends. Oh, oh. Well, that sounds like Les Miserables by Victor Hugo. Les who? <laughs> Les Miserables by Victor Hugo. Oh. Sherman Hemsley played the character George Jefferson. He was 37 years old when the TV series ran in 1975. Sadly, on July 24, 2012, he left us due to superior vena cava syndrome due to lung cancer at the age of 74 in El Paso, Texas. His passing deeply saddens us. This is it, the cream, the top, and I finally got your mother acting like a new woman. I got her eating out of the palm of my hand. I'm going to say, how'd you do that, Pa? Well, it's the old George Jefferson uh, So just... All my P's and Q's, and, uh, and I know what, what my purpose was for coming. It was a party for my brother who was going away, and it was, they had a party in Archibald. Roxy Roker played the character Helen Willis in the TV series when she was 46 years old in 1975. December 2nd, 1995 was a tough one. She left us due to breast cancer at 66 years old in Los Angeles, California. It's a sad loss for all of us. My husband's office. Mm -mm. It's too risky. Besides, doesn't George have a burglar alarm? Oh, no problem. I know how to trick about. When I say beers are up, you're supposed to drop what you're doing and come to the bar. Well, how am I supposed to know that? Because it's just Berlinda Tolbert played the character Jenny Willis Jefferson. She was 26 years old when the TV series ran in 1975. Fast forward to today, she's a lively 75-year-old soaking up the best of life right here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Gang? No, she said to tell you that she's doing some research on her thesis. She also said to tell you not to worry. But if I was you, I'd be... ...mention him at all. Oh, oh Mama, I'm sorry. I, I love Daddy. I'm worried about him, too. Oh. 
Zara Cully played the character Mother Jefferson in the TV series when she was 83 years old in 1975. Sadly, on February 28, 1978, she left us due to lung cancer at the age of 86 in Los Angeles, California. Her passing deeply saddens us. 21st, 1945. That's the day she dropped you. Drop me, she ain't dropped me. I dropped her. <laughs> Waiting to interview the new maid. A maid? You're getting a maid to look after this itty bitty apartment? <laughs> Ned Wertimer played the character Ralph Hart in the TV series when he was 52 years old in 1975. It's with a heavy heart that I've got to tell you that on January 2nd, 2013, he left us after complications following a fall at 90 in Valley Village, Los Angeles, California. We're really filling the loss. I even darned the hose in that little man's socks. <laughs> and for what, Florence? I ask you. For what? She's lying. <laughs> oh, yes. But she didn't read her contract. Her contract stated that she had to drive me from my apartment out here to the studio. <laughs> Jay Hammer played the character Alan Willis in the TV series when he was 31 years old in 1975. Check it out. At 80 years old, he's rocking a fulfilling life jam-packed with passions right here in San Francisco, California. Are you saying I'm dumb? No. You're smart. You're too smart to be ripping off people who can help you. Help me do what? Well, what do you want to do? I don't... Damon Evans played the character Lionel Jefferson. He was 26 years old when the TV series ran in 1975. Here he is, at a cool 75, chilling in Baltimore, Maryland, enjoying a happy life with family and friends by his side. Tell him. <laughs> well, um... I'll be working with digital circuitry, integrated bypass systems, analytical frequencies, and remote resistance factors. ...version of Al Town in the ninth grade. And then I went to Douglas High School. Um, we had the great... 